they love, this is another example, okay? You need $10,900 for a down payment of a new car. You presently have $5,000 in savings for which you expect to earn 6%. It should be compounded monthly. If you deposit a further $500 a month each month into this account, how long approximately before you will accumulate enough to meet your down payment requirement? All right, so they're telling you that you currently have $5,000. You're gonna put in $500 a month. Those are both negative. You're looking to find your N. You're, you need $10,900 in the future, positive. Your interest a year is 6%. You don't change that. And you need to figure out how many months is it going to take you. So what am I gonna do first? Oh, my class third know that, so I heard them. 12 payments a year. So if I do, can you see that? Okay. 5,000, negative, that's my present value. 500, negative, that's my payment. I need to have $10,900 in the future. My interest a year is 6%. How long is it gonna take me? That's months, by the way. It's gonna take me 11 months to earn my $10,900. You can do that, right? You can toggle back and forth between 12 payments or two payments for a bond. By the way, I do have the um, ratios written down on the cards, too, <coughs> in terms of what you need to know, which relates to number four. And number three, but I'm going over number four. ABC has working capital of $360. Current liability is of $190. What is the current ratio? You're gonna to have to know these ratios. And, you know, so current ratio, if you remember, is current assets over current liabilities. And your net working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. So what have they given you? They've given you the current assets of $360. You have, that's your net working capital, and you have your current liabilities of $190. That means that your current assets are $550. You may have to flip something like that. This may be one of those that you go, you know what, I don't want to screw with it. As long as you can do the calculations, by the way, 80% of the test will be calculations, 20% will be concepts. You just want to be, just know how to do the calculations. This is more of a concept question. So for my current ratio, after I figured out my current assets, <coughs> I know what my networking capital is, and I know what my current liabilities is, I divide the current assets by my current liabilities. That means my current ratio is 2.9. How can I give you a break? Because you'll all like kill each other. If you're not here, go to the bathroom. We're going to 11.30 and then if the rest of you want to leave, then that's <laughs> you will be, okay, those of you who will do the sample finals, get A's. You, okay, those of you who haven't taken me, 16 of my students out of 100 students last semester got 100. <laughs> okay, yeah. But those were the accounting majors. I didn't pull, I didn't pull them, I don't know that. <laughs> let me think about this. 36 out of my 100 students got over 90. Okay, and not all those people were finance majors, by the way. I only had less than 10 people in my class that were, out of my two classes that were finance majors because I talked them out of that because there are no jobs in finance. <laughs> that's why I'm standing up here. <laughs> so that's why I have your own firm now. That's why I have my own firm. My firm in Chicago founded a little company with that little logo on it. Hold it up, lady. Starbucks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> My firm actually <laughs> lent Howard Schultz his first level of private debt because he couldn't get any bank to borrow money to him. So I was the only woman. I was the only, also goyim, non-Jew. Okay. 
So when the mortgage crisis came, we had all made so much money on Starbucks stock, we just walked away. We read about it on Bloomberg that we'd been sold. So much for loyalty. <laughs> You're considering the purchase of a new car with a price of 48. Yeah. Who has a question? I'm listening to a weekend all the time too loud. It's his fault. <laughs> You're considering the purchase of a new car with a price of $4,800, $48,200. You can make a down payment of $10,000 and finance the remaining balance over five years or 60 months at 6%. You're wondering if you can afford the monthly payment, because that's how everybody buys a car or house. How much will the monthly payment be? 6%? I make it idiot proof. <laughs> I got my class, you understand this. 60 payments, right? Five years times 12. You only have to save, this is minus $10,000, right? Don't let that catch you. So your present value, you only need to finance $38,200. You don't want, you won't know anything on the payment of your car at the end. What's your payment? 12 payments a year, I'm already there, 6%. 60 payments, five years. I'm gonna finance $3,800, $200. My future value is zero. That work? That is my monthly payment. That seems like a damn big payment. Bad credit. <laughs>